Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris. Today's video, well, I'm putting drywall anchors to the test. There are a ton of choices when you go to the hardware store, and about 85% of homes have gypsum drywall board in them. When you can't find a stud, they're perfect for hanging various things around your house. Today, I'm gonna tell you which ones I think are the best ones. Let's go. Well, as always, guys, thank you for joining me. Here are all of the ones available at my local big box store. I picked up every single type. We're gonna put them to the test today. Hey, real quick, a couple things before we get started. I am not going to put the weight of these, what they will hold to the test. No, I'm not gonna come up with some elaborate thing with a scale and a pull down force. I'm not gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trust the manufacturer that when it says it'll hold 75 pounds, meaning 75 pounds of hanging strength, when the drywall anchor is into the board, it will hang 75 pounds down, 90 degrees down from whenever you uh, have installed it. So I'm trusting that, okay? Let's just be clear. Also, I'm gonna do these per the manufacturer's instructions. I'm gonna follow the rules. I'm not gonna do any hacks or anything like that. And uh, I'm gonna really give you a look behind the scenes here. Um, a lot of times these things act, and you see on the pictures, oh, this is what happens behind the wall, but you don't really know. Why? Because your walls aren't exposed in the back, but these are. Okay, so I'm gonna give you, <laughs> I hate to say it, a glimpse inside the backside when these do their magic. So I hope you look forward to this. I know I am, I'm curious to see it as well. Let's just dive right in. Starting with the weakest of the batch with a 29 pound force of sheer strength that can hold, which I hate these ones, by the way. You'll see why, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's get right into it. So how this is gonna go down, I'm gonna set up the packaging on the board itself. I'm gonna give you a closer look at what I'm doing. Here's this one. And then we're gonna implement it into the wall. This one, you basically gotta drill out a hole and then shove it in with a hammer. And every test is gonna be represented by the screw that came with the package into a quarter inch thick piece of plywood just for reference. And now around to the backside, you can kinda of see what happens. This piece of plastic is giving birth to a screw. As you can see, this works okay. I don't typically like drywall anchors that you have to drill a hole into the drywall, but this one worked just okay. And typically you find these in packages of furniture or things you buy that go onto the wall. Now, real quick, I forgot to do it on the first one, but a little blue tape hack, of course, you may know this, is when you're drilling into drywall, put some up on the wall, it will protect all of the drywall gypsum dust to go everywhere. It really does make handy work of this. You can also use a post-it note as well. And this is just a bigger version of the same thing. Drill a hole, hammer it in place, and then screw in whatever you need to do. And again, it gives birth to a screw. Pretty interesting. And here's a closer look at these two around the backside. Okay, on to a different variety. This one's called a pop toggle. Essentially how this is gonna work you're gonna take another drill and you're gonna have to drill a hole and I forgot to use the tape, so I just used my hand. I guess that works okay. And then it bends in half. You can see here, and then you shove it through the hole. Now, not a huge fan of this one. You'll see why. When it goes into the backside, it really feels like it doesn't do too much. I'm sure it works. However, I can see it kind of working here. It just isn't my favorite application. Pretty much if you have to drill into the drywall with a drill bit, it's not gonna be ideal. So here's a look at this one from the back as well. Okay, on to a different category now, ones where you do not need to drill a hole into the drywall. These just self-drill in with hand tools only. You can see here, drill not required, and it gives you some applications what it's ideal for. Toilet paper, pictures, clocks. I don't know about you guys, but I don't have 50 pound toilet paper, so I think we're good to go. Now this anchor is designed to, if you hit a stud, it's okay. Because it's metal, it will just drill right into the hardwood. However, I tried it on the next application and it didn't work that great because I didn't use the power tool. However, I will say in this application here, right up against drywall, that is a really satisfying tightening of that screw. So I do this by hand and you can see here, I'm, I'm really struggling with it and I actually strip out some of the drywall anchor a little bit and it didn't get a chance to get flush up against the wall. Now, again, if I didn't use an impact driver, this probably would not have happened and it would have gone right into the stud. So I'm not really gonna put it at fault for that. However, if you do it by hand, you gotta be careful. And this too gives you a pretty darn satisfying grip. You can see here the screw is actually embedding itself into the wood. 
So moving on to the next one, this is a plastic anchor made by the same company, looks similar to the metal one in the previous clip. This one, however, gives you 75 pounds of pull force that you are able to apply. Also, drill not required, and it's ideal for, say, curtains, maybe even some floating shelves. That's pretty cool. Some closet applications, good stuff. All right, so what you do, basically you take a screwdriver and you just hammer it into the drywall, making the hole. Then you take that piece of anchor or that anchor itself and there's really aggressive spikes just kind of go right into the drywall. And that's a pretty satisfying tightening as well. It gets really flush up to the surface. Let me move that out of the way, just kind of give you a look. And again, we're gonna test this again with hand tools only. And I call, well, I'm calling this a really satisfying tightening. What happens here is the screw breaks the actual piece of plastic in the drywall. There's no way for this to come back out unless with a lot of force. And this is probably my favorite one so far. At least I think it is. All right, moving on. This one is called the wall claw. Now this is a little funky. To me, I didn't know if this was really gonna hold 90 pounds because this was just a plastic nail with an arrow indicating to put it up towards the ceiling and you basically hammer it in. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna get past this point, but albeit, look at that, it worked pretty well. And little viewer discretion advised after I show you, there is no tip on this screw. And uh, reason being, it needs that flat part to actually engage the mechanism that holds it to the wall. Point being, let me show you what I mean. As you see me screw this in, I'm gonna go around the backside. And like I said, viewer discretion is advised here. I'm sorry for all the immature viewers if you think that's funny. But honestly, this worked really well. And that screw comes right through. It actually threads into the bottom of that adjoining piece that angled upwards. And this is a hugely satisfying uh, tightening of that screw. And I really enjoyed this one. Okay, on to toggle bolts. Now these are oldies but goodies. These have been around for a long time, but they require a little bit of work. You gotta use a half inch drill bit. Man, does this create a lot of mess. And again, use the blue tape trick, not your hand. Now how this works is you basically thread a machine screw into this spring loaded toggle thing. I'm not exactly sure what the, t the term is, but look here, I struggle with it. Real life application, I struggle with it for a second, move it around, eventually get it to take hold. And as you tighten down these threads, that toggle bolt expands and grabs the drywall. This thing has been around for a long time and it's really good, works really well. It's just, it's a lot of work to get the, uh, the screw into the wall with that big half inch hole. Not a big fan of that. All right, moving on to the last one. This one, honest to goodness, I, I had a lot of hopes for this one, and I still do, and it worked pretty well. Uh, basically, you use a screwdriver to screw it in. It's a mixture of metal and plastic, and then the plastic threads kind of grab into that drywall pretty satisfyingly as well. And around the back side, as you screw this machine bolt in, it acts like a toggle bolt. It's a mixture of kind of a little bit of a, you know, a drywall anchor and a toggle bolt all combined into one. It's pretty good. And now I'm gonna show you guys an overview of the backside of all of these, just to kind of give you a refresher. Check this out. This is what's happening inside your walls with these products. I really hope that this has given you some insight on showing you exactly how these things work, how they behave. And now it's time to give you my verdict on which one I like the best. There's four categories and I'll explain now. Okay, well, I hope you got some insight into what actually happens behind these walls and when these things work. And I'm gonna give, well, I've got four categories here, of course, first, second, third, and that's a attempt to draw a bicep emoji from the, you know, <laughs> the emoticons or the emojis. Um, so the deal is, is I'm gonna give you my ranking on pretty much essentially what's the easiest to use, the least amount of cleanup, with the least amount of tools, meaning do you need to drill it or not? And all that's gonna be compiled on whether it's gonna hold more or less. Now, I'm not gonna pick a 29 pound drywall anchor. I'm just not gonna do that. It's never gonna get any type of recognition from me whatsoever because those, they suck. Okay, now, but what I will tell you is that my favorite, the one I've used pretty much for the last 20 years has been this one, the drywall anchor from Easy Anchor. And it's a 75 pound with the plastic kind of really um, aggressive spiral spikes or, or spiral that goes in the wall. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give that number three because I still like it. I still think that this is by far one of the easiest drywall anchors to install and it serves its purpose and it works well. But it doesn't mean that it's number one in my book. And my number one is pretty surprising to me. All right, if you've used it, you probably already know. 
Number two, let's go into this. Now, this one's kind of, you know, stepbrother. Uh, the one a little bit tougher, goes to the gym a little bit more. This one can go into the studs. However, when it goes into the studs, yeah, it works, but it doesn't really go into the wall. It kind of strips a little bit, but I'm not thinking of it that way. I'm thinking of this one as you would use this one. So even though it's metal and it can go into the studs, when it doesn't, it gives the, one of the strongest, really satisfying cinches of a screw or tightenings of a screw, if you will. And I'm gonna give this number two, okay? Well deserved. I mean, they happen to be from the same company, uh, but they just work well and they've been around for a long time, so that's why, uh, at least in my opinion. Now, number one is going to, well, the one that surprised me the most and the one that I think gave the most satisfying, really uh, just you know, put the screws to it and just bam, it really, man, it was nice, is this one. It's the wall claw, okay? Congratulations, yep. Absolutely well-deserved. Fantastic drywall anchor. It really works well. As you can see from behind here, um, and I went back there and kind of tried to mess with it. It is rock solid, man. Whew, I'm so surprised. So these will definitely be in my toolbox from now on when I'm hanging things. I didn't think that taking a plastic nail essentially and hammering it in would be all that effective, but it works. It works well, and this is unbelievably strong. Now, I will say this. This bicep emoji is going to go to what I think is the absolute strongest joint here. The strongest hold you could possibly get, and that goes to these good old toggle bolts. This right here is by far the, one of the strongest joints you can get in drywall. It's a pain in the butt though, man. You gotta take a half inch drill bit and drill out a ton of drywall, poke it through. As you see, I struggled with it a little bit, but eventually it kind of got and it and it snugged it up. And I've actually attached old bed frames to my wife's studio to the ceiling using these. And I know it's not what it says for use in walls, but you know what? That's just a, I guess, a horizontal wall that you're hanging things upside down from. And it worked well. And they've been up there for years, and it is super strong. So there you go. That's my verdict. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Again, I want to hear your thoughts on what your, your experiences have been with these, kings, with these things. And I really think that doing this test not only proves something to me, but I hope you guys got something out of it as well. Again, not sponsored at all. I just wanted to find which the best one was, and quite frankly, I'm glad I did because my opinion has changed a little bit. Hope you enjoyed it. Guys, thank you so much. I'll see you on the next video. Until then, my name is Chris, and yeah, it's been fun. It's been real fun. Thanks again. See you later. <laughs>